you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is sharon please subscribe before watching in this video we shall be talking about present value of uneven cash flows most investments yield uneven cash flows like the, the money that you get in year one it's not the money that you get in year two and it's not the same money that you get in year three yeah so most investments yield uneven cash flows yeah and it's most likely to be asked in exams present value of uneven cash flows so we are going to learn how to calculate for present value of uneven cash flows present value of uneven cash flows has a formula or formulas but they all give the same answers yeah so present value equals to a you multiply with one out of into brackets one plus i power one then you do the same thing for year two for year three yeah like that up to the number of years that you've been given in the question and the second formula it's present value equals to a1 the cash flows for year one out of into brackets one plus i power one then plus a2 which represents cash flows for year two out of one plus i into brackets power two for year three you do the same thing you just change the power to three for year four the same thing like that up to the number of years that have been given in the question and from our formula pvn represents present value of uneven cash flows at n years then i is the interest rate and n is period in years Let's look at an example. Renel Enterprises acquired an equipment that is much faster and more efficient than its existing one. It expects to generate net cash flows for the next five years as indicated below. For year one, they are expecting cash flows of 130 million. Year two, they are expecting cash flows of 136 million. Year three, they are expecting cash flows of 142 million. Year 4, they are expecting cash flows of 148 million. Year 5, they are expecting cash flows of 191 million. They are telling us to determine the present value of the above ser series of cash flows to be generated by Renel Enterprises, given that the required rate of return is at 13% per annum. Yeah, so our interest rate is 13%. And they want us to determine the present value of all the cash flows. So that's what we are going to look at here. From our question, our N is 5 years. Our interest rate is 13%. And cash flows for year 1, we have 130 million. Year 2, we have 136 million. Year 3, we have 142 million. Year 4, 148 million. And year 5, we have 191 million. This is the formula that we are going to use in order for us to determine the present value of uneven cash flows. And in order for us to do the work easily, we are going to use a table. Yeah, so we are going to draw a table for all years. In our table, we are going to have four columns. The column of years, the column of cash flows, which represents A, the column of present value interest factor. Our interest is 13%, and we shall use that formula of 1 out of, into brackets, 1 plus I power N, and then we shall have the, form, the column of present value. Year one, our cash flows we had 130 million. The present value interest factor when we substitute into our formula for year one we get 0 0.885. And in order for us to get the present value, we shall multiply cash flows times present value interest factor. So 130 million times 0 0.885, we get 115,050,000. And that is the present value of 130 million one year from now. Then for year two, in year two we have cash flows of 136 million. 
the present value factor when we substitute in our formula interest rate 13 percent then our n is 2 when we substitute it and when we substitute in and use a calculator we shall get 0 0.783 and in order for us to get to our present value we shall multiply 136 million times 0 0.783 and we shall get 100 six million four four hundred eighty eighty thousand and that will be the present value of one hundred thirty six million two years from now then for year three we shall do the same thing our cash flows in year three one hundred forty two million present value interest factor when we substitute in our formula we get zero points 693 and in order for us to get to the present value we shall multiply 142 million times 0 0.693 and we shall get 98 million 406 thousand and that will be the present value of 142 million three years from now we shall do the same thing for year four and year five and in year four our present value is 90 million 724,000 and that will be the present value of 148 million four years from now then for year five our present value is 103 million 713,000 and that will be the present value of 190 million five years from now so in our question they asked for the present value of his investments and that is what we've calculated for if you want you can add all of them and get to the total thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be talking about the application of present value which is loan amortization